I like taking people into a dark theater with a, with a thousand strangers and giving them an experience that they'll never forget. Steven Spielberg is recognized worldwide as probably the greatest filmmaker uh, in our contemporary history. Steven Allen Spielberg was born on December 18, 1946, in Cincinnati, Ohio. As a young filmmaker, Spielberg made his first feature entitled Firelight when he was still in high school. When he was 10 years old, he objected to the way his dad was taking family movies. His dad had an 8mm brownie camera. And Steven said it was very boring watching the family movies. So he took over and became the family photographer. He attended CSU Long Beach after failing several times to get into film school. But Spielberg dropped out of college after his short film Amblin got him signed as a TV director for Universal. Spielberg's first show was for a program called Night Gallery. And the episode he was told to direct starred the great Hollywood actress Joan Crawford. And when Spielberg turned up on the set, they couldn't believe that this kid was directing Joan Crawford. The turning point in my career was Jaws. And it was a, it was a turning point because I was a director for hire before Jaws. And after Jaws, it was such a big hit. I could do any movie I wanted. And, I, I, and, and Hollywood just wrote me a, a check. Spielberg's 1975 film Jaws was not only the first film to break 100 million at the U.S. box office, it was also nominated for Best Picture and won three Academy Awards. When Jaws first came out, Vincent Canby, the lead critic for the New York Times, said, what is Jaws but a big budget Roger Corman film? He was partially correct. It was a big budget Roger Corman film, but it was also better. In 1977, Spielberg wrote and directed Close Encounters of the Third Kind and garnered six Academy Award nominations. He followed up with a string of hits, including Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, and The Color Purple. I don't think he makes a bad film. He's the consummate storyteller, and what fascinates me about the way he does it is that he's not locked into any specific style. There's, there's no Spielberg brand other than excellence. In 1994, Spielberg earned his first Best Director Academy Award for Schindler's List and used profits from the film to set up the Survivors of the Shoah Visual History Foundation. Schindler's List was a terribly important movie to Steven Spielberg. He first bought the rights to the book by Leopold Page, a survivor, in 1983, but it took him 10 years, he said, to feel ready to make the film. With two partners, Spielberg launched DreamWorks in 1994, producing both live action and animation. In 1998, the studio made Saving Private Ryan, winning Spielberg his second Best Director Academy Award. Saving Private Ryan was epic in the amount of things and people, sets, props, weapons, and it was very difficult often for me to keep track of all of that. Stephen doesn't think in those terms, though. He thinks of what he needs to tell the story because he's seeing shots and scenes and sequences long before we've ever gotten to them. As a writer, producer, and the most commercially successful director of all time, Steven Spielberg was named by Life magazine as the most influential person of his generation. I think Stephen stands as one of the most important American filmmakers. He is one of the few filmmakers to do serious work, to function brilliantly as an artist, yet at the same time have a knowledge of what the audience wants. So his films are both commercially and artistically successful.